Good morning and welcome to the Usher Hall. I genuinely hope you really enjoy this this morning. It's a very special occasion. And for those or anyone in the audience slightly nervous about walking on the stage, take my word, you're no more nervous than me. So just enjoy it. Four centuries ago, John Napier of Merkiston, from whom this university proudly takes its name, invented logarithms. One of the greatest contributions to the advancement of knowledge. It was a great step which underpinned Kepler's work on the orbit of the planets and Newton's theory of gravity. Today, you Edinburgh Napier's newest graduates take your own next step. History records the support and the encouragement to work and study that John Napier received through his faith, from his family and friends, and from those who read his work. We share today's joy with those who have helped us reach this step, and so I invite you to begin today's ceremony with a moment's reflection and give thanks for the support we have received and the strength we have been given by others. What's important today is that you enjoy this thing. I now declare our graduation ceremony open. Good morning, Chancellor, Court, Vice-Chancellor, Academic Board, guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, a very warm welcome to you all. I am delighted to deliver this vote of thanks today. This ceremony makes a considerable achievement and milestone in your lives, and you should all be proud of where you are today. All of you here today started this journey in many different ways. From all over the world and different backgrounds, this is what makes Edinburgh Napier such a diverse and welcoming place to study. As someone that came from Nepal, I've learned so much from you all, and it was an absolute pleasure sharing the spaces as your student president of Napier and as any of Scotland's international officer. It's been a long journey since we arrived as freshers. For many of you, it was the first time away from home, the first time you had your pot noodle, the first time you burned pizza, loads of wonderful memories, but also some nights that you would rather forget. Five till five. <laughs> Studying at Edinburgh Napier University means you're part of a community, a family. Edinburgh Napier University and ENSA are proud to be home to our students of such diverse cultures with passion, courage, ambitions, and determination. Today, you've reached the finish line of your studies, and soon, you'll walk across the stage to a future you've built and worked hard for. Before you do, I want to thank those that have supported you at every step of your way, those who have gone above and beyond. Let me share our appreciation to our academic staff at Edinburgh Napier University who have worked hard to give you the best learning experience possible. I also want to show our appreciation for staff from school offices, employability teams, the IPON staff, IT staff, accommodations services, the libraries, cleaners and porters, and everyone in your student association. Let us all thank our senior management at Edinburgh Napier, the deans, directors, the university leadership team, and the principal. Let us give, us, let us give a round of applause for their fantastic contributions. Now, being part of the student movement for over three years has taught me that we cannot waste our time focusing on negative things or people. We have to be respectful, courageous, and learn from each other, going beyond our indifferences. Today, we might not be happy with the decisions made by others, but we will be the decision makers for tomorrow, affecting our future generations. We cannot wait for another generation to fix this, it is our duty, our responsibility, to contribute to the society that we live in. As your president, I'm extremely proud of our student actions and campaigns over the last 12 months, such as Lobby on Borders, Students of the World, Black History Month, and so much more. We have helped make extraordinary changes, and we must continue 
this proud history of shaping those changes. Your degree is one of the most effective tools for the change that is needed to move forward with innovation, compassion, and positivity. Never underestimate yourself as you have earned this with years of effort. In the years to come, you will not remember a word I've said today. But you must remember, you are part of my hope for the world that we deserve. So go forward, carrying the name of Edwin Manapier, and raise it higher. Take risks, follow your heart, and make the world much more interesting with your presence. I wish you all the very best, and congratulations to the class of 2018. Chancellor, it is my privilege to present Lorraine Kelly, OBE, for the honorary degree of Doctor of Arts. Born in the Gorbals, Lorraine spent the first few years of her life in Glasgow before the family moved out to East Kilbride. On graduating Claremont High School, Lorraine studied journalism at the then Napier Technical College in 1977, before starting work at the East Kilbride News, her local newspaper. In 1983, she briefly joined BBC Scotland as a researcher before coming the Scotland correspondent for TVAM, the then ITV breakfast television franchise. Based on her excellent coverage of the Lockerbie disaster in 1988, Lorraine became a presenter on TVAM's Good Morning Britain, one of the original breakfast television news programmes, and was awarded the Trick Diamond Jubilee Award for New Talent of the Year. After the closure of TVAM in 1993, Lorraine helped launch GMTV, presenting the new Top of the Morning slot before moving to present the main breakfast show with Eamon Holmes. Following the birth of her daughter Rosie, she became the presenter of GMTV's Nine O'Clock Live, a show which proved so popular it was moved to an earlier slot and retitled Lorraine Live. For her work on this show, in 2006, she was awarded the Royal Television Society Award for Best Presenter, and in 2008, she was awarded a People's Choice Scottish BAFTA. As part of a rebrand in 2009, the show changed its title to GMTV with Lorraine, and in 2010, when GMTV was replaced by Daybreak, her new show Lorraine was launched, a show which continues really successfully to this day and has made her one of the most popular television presenters in the country. Not content with just fronting Lorraine, she has presented a range of additional television programs over the years, including the ITV series Children's Hospital, a four-part series for Channel 5 called Penguin A&E with Lorraine Kelly, and a six-part documentary series Lorraine Kelly's Big Fat Challenge, which featured Lorraine and a team of experts putting Britain's fattest family through their paces to lose weight and transform their lives. <laughs> she also hosted the STV Hogmanay party in 2014 of 2015, and in 2016 hosted Lorraine Kelly's Hogmanay. Building on her previous journalism background, Lorraine filmed two documentary series, Secrets Revealed, DNA Stories, which were broadcast on Sky, Sky Real Lives in 2006 and 2008. She also hosted a new documentary series about missing mothers in conjunction with the Missing People charity and Sky, which followed the success of Sky's previous successful missing person series, Missing Children, Lorraine Kelly Investigates. In 2012, additionally, Lorraine took over as a presenter on Daybreak, which she fronted for three years, and in 2014, she took on a role reporting from Dundee on the Scottish independence result on Good Morning Britain. Lorraine has also made acting appearances in a range of shows, including Still Game, River City, Birds of a Feather, as well as having her own radio show on Talk Radio for three years. She's also hosted The Arts Show on Friday nights on Radio 2, as well as Have I Got News For You, The Paul O'Grady Show, and appeared on Question Time, The Jonathan Ross Show, So Graham Norton, and Never Mind the Buzzcocks, amongst a list which I don't think I can actually have enough time for this morning. 
Um, away from her broadcast work, Lorraine wrote her autobiography, Between You and Me, in 2008, which was a Sunday Times number one bestseller, and she writes a weekly column for The Sun. She was elected as the first female rector of the University of Dundee in 2004, and in 2009 was appointed honorary colonel of the Black Watch Cadets. Lorraine Kelly is actively involved in supporting a range of charities and has been honored for her charitable work especially her work supporting the armed forces. Since 2011, Lorraine has hosted STV's Children's Appeal, of which she is also a trustee. She is a patron of worldwide cancer research and help for heroes, and is also an ambassador for Poppy Scotland, and supports Sight Savers, the MS Society, the Eve Appeal, and Comic Relief. Lorraine has received a number of awards, including an honorary Doctor of Laws from the University of Dundee for her services to charity. She was appointed Officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE, in the 2012 New Year Honours for services to charity and the armed forces. And in 2014, Lorraine received a special Scottish BAFTA, honoring her 30-year television career. Lorraine has been married to her husband, Steve Smith, since 1992 and has one daughter, Rosie, who graduated in 2016 with an honours degree in journalism from Edinburgh Napier. Chancellor, in recognition of her contribution to broadcasting and her services to charity, I invite you to confer on Lorraine Kelly the honorary degree of Doctor of Arts. Don't you look fantastic? It, this is such a joyful day, it really is, and I know how hard you've worked, and I know how proud your parents and all your friends and family will be, because I was sitting right up there two years ago when my Rosie graduated, and it was just such a brilliant experience. Uh, looking at all of you, and I know how hard you've worked. I know I didn't have to work very hard to get mine, but you have to work really, really hard, and everyone appreciates that, they really do. I've only got a little thing to say to you, and it's as you're going out into the world, don't be afraid of failure, and don't be afraid of rejection. When I was at the East Kilbride News, I wrote to the BBC countlessly. I mean, I think I must have applied for about 25 jobs, including farming correspondent in the Outer Hebrides. And, you know, as a girl from Glasgow who didn't know one end of a cow from another, but I just thought they're going to get so fed up with me applying, eventually they'll give me a job. And that's really what happened. So don't, like, for goodness sake, she's applying for everything. So eventually I got there, and it took a long time, and I had a pile of rejection letters, but that doesn't matter. If you've got a dream, follow your dream. You don't want to be my age and looking back and thinking, if only, if only I had tried a little bit harder, if only I had written that one more letter, sent that email or that text or whatever, and, you know, just go for it. That's the main thing that I would say to you. Also, um, lift your head up from your phone and look at the world, look at the world, because you are our hope. You will change things. We've not made a particularly great job of things, as you can see, and you really are our hope. Talk to one another, don't just text. And the main thing I would say to you, you're in Edinburgh, it's party city. You've worked your butts off, party hard. Party hard, guys, and thank you so much. <laughs> Chancellor, I'm pleased to present students from the School of Arts and Creative Industries for the following awards. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a programme of work entitled An Autoethnography of Scottish Hip Hop, Identity, Locality, Outsiderdom and Social Commentary, David Hook.
for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a programme of work entitled Scotland's Regional Print Economy in the 19th Century, Helen Sarah Williams. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Acting in English, winner of the University Medal, Cameron Banks. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah Elizabeth Barretto. Andrew James Thomas Bilby. <laughs> Catriona Louise Bone. John Gerard Crossan. Heather Milne. Scott Nicol Ringan. Alan Douglas Scott. Jenny Elizabeth Tamplin. Andrew John Weir. Esther Louise Wilkes. <laughs> for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Acting for Stage and Screen, Alexander Charles Gunn Bain. <laughs> Alana Rachel Beaton. <laughs> Raidun Alexandra Bolt. Laura Elizabeth Caban. Sarah Dingwall. Neve Tudor Kinane. Mari McCall. Claire McCarricker. Becky Ella Niven. Jack Jarvis Guta Quijada. Connor Alec James Hardy. Alanis Hill. Harry Jackson. Christina Maria Christopoulou. <laughs> Gregor Mackay. <laughs> Shannon Sinclair McKenzie. <laughs> Greg Daniel Sives. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Communication, Advertising and Public Relations, Joanne Catriona Freer. Jennifer Sinclair Nicol. Anna Elizabeth Bennett. John Stuart Carrington. Renton Duthie. Jack Kiernan Hughes. Ashley Lennon. Andre Pelga, <laughs> Mashal A E J E Shihaiba, <laughs> Callum Stott, <laughs> Anthony Tierney, <laughs> Yelena Turchatz, <laughs> Caitlin Laura Wilson. For the award of Bachelor of Arts, Communication, Advertising and Public Relations, Alana Jade Cotras. <laughs> For the award of Master of Arts, Creative Writing, winner of the University Medal, Anna Louise Ibbotson. <laughs> Leslie Catherine McNiven. 
Fabienne Jeline Siegler. For the award of Bachelor of Design with Honours Design and Digital Arts, Yuen Liu. For the award of Bachelor of Design, Design and Digital Arts, Rhiannon Megan Hunt. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours English, winner of the University Medal, Sophia Betania Baptista Matias. <laughs> Caitlin Stargazer Butchart. <laughs> David Michael Gerald Clark. <laughs> Holly Elizabeth Armour. Heather Curry, Paige Jordan, Liam Kemp, Courtney Irene Kerr, Kirsty Elizabeth Lee. Rona Ann McDonald, Sarah Rennie, for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, English and Film, winner of the University Medal, Harriet Anwin Andrews, Nicola Jane Borthwick. Megan Kirkwood, Emily Phillips, Julio Riccardi, Sam Dice, Amy Georgia Henzi, Claire Ellen Jack. Abigail Fiona Mayers, Lucy Margaret McMillan, Maeve Rita Nichotlin, Sarah Christine Vollen, Caitlin Waters, Noel Frederica Rosa Montoya, Vittoria Strastova, Totora, Jordan, Wellen, Bombelli. <laughs> Veronica Sikaya. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Film, Natalie Nazanin Amadzada. Deborah Bottino, <laughs> Vilya Aurora Keshmika, <laughs> Katie Jane Elizabeth Malinda, <laughs> Sarah Tainch, <laughs> Jane Margaret Alice Armstrong. Paul Edward Bowman. Sean Robert Grieve. Corinne Kathleen McAndrews. Colin Andrew McMaster. Molly Wilson Neal. Zoe Patterson McInnes. <laughs> Connell Tomey. <laughs> Ross Albert Brown McFarlane. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts film, Polly B. Morrison.
for the award of Bachelor of Design with Honours, Graphic Design, winner of the Studio LR Graphic Design Prize, Guillaume Gabriel Bujassi. Tom Cannon. Charlotte Crozer. Elissa Graziano. Christy Kareen Hogan. Craig Lindsay. Heather Rose McManus. Emma Moline. Rosanna Joy Rees. Courtney Leanne Ritchie. Nilaxia Thiruchelvam. <laughs> Antonina Galinova Todorova. <laughs> Rebecca Watt. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Design, Graphic Design, winner of the University Medal, Sarah Hardy. <laughs> Jenny Susanna Levo. <laughs> Catherine Russell. Kieran Tushabate. <laughs> Emma Hamilton. George Watson. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Design with Honours, Interior and Spatial Design, winner of the University Medal, Irina Alexandra Grotza. Karen Berry, Jade Clark, Disa Clementson, Sophie Tabitha Coots, Claire Henry, Carolina Maria Jablonska. Leanne Johnston. Connor Ryan Laurie. Magdalena Lipochik. Nicola Claire Sikora. Nicola White. Megan Heather Burnett. Louise Noelia Duthi. <laughs> Rebecca Sheila Ann Fain. <laughs> Jenny Lucy Fenwick. <laughs> Araminta Rose Glenn. <laughs> Gemma Elizabeth Lightbody. Christopher Daniel Lynch. Jonathan Myatt. For the award of Master of Arts, International Journalism for Media Professionals, winner of the University Medal, Graham Stewart Waghorn. Tasnim Nazir. For the award of Postgraduate Diploma, International Journalism for Media Professionals, Ashkan Banan. <laughs> for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Journalism, Lee Cameron Dalgetty. <laughs> Ryan Thomas Mayer. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Jamie MacDonald. Jessica McLean Rourke. J. 
Jamie Robert Taylor. <laughs> Winner of the Andy Mackey Award for Excellence in Journalistic Writing, Sean Victoria Trainer. <laughs> Winner of the Clements Family Prize for Journalism, Cameron Brody Ward. Colin Kevin Campbell. Patrick DL. Kendall Lauren Dick. Jack James Fairgreave. Megan Sophie Fletcher. Alexander Heron. Louise Holiday, <laughs> Hallie Holdsworth, <laughs> Jessica Rose McFadgen, <laughs> Katie McKenzie, <laughs> Marie Sheena Elizabeth Mulhern. Jamie Andrew Munn. Caitlin Jane Strachan Noble. Claire Stevenson. Cameron Storer. Ruth Ann Rebecca Souter. Ailey Swinton, <laughs> Megan Dawn Taylor, <laughs> Aaron Ross Templeton, <laughs> Selena Sumin Fian, <laughs> Gregor Stewart Thompson, <laughs> Layla Wallace. Saskia Kelly Williams. <laughs> Kirsty Ann Margaret Wilson. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Music with Honours, Music, winner of the Wind Section Prize for Woodwind and Brass, Sarah Ellen Kane. Dean. <laughs> winner of the University Medal, Winner of the Makin Piano Prize, Max McQuirter. <laughs> Alexandra Jane Prentice. <laughs> Eleanor Gwendolyn Figures. <laughs> Emily Alice Greenwood. <laughs> Fraser Ross Greenwood. Samuel Hogarth but Butcher. <laughs> Chloe Rose Hughes. <laughs> Lauren Mayer. <laughs> Andrew Lyons. <laughs> Andrew Richard Pennycook. Lauren Ann Port Quiver. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Music, Music, Sarah Louise McCulloch. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Photography, Lara Capelli. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Katerina Hilja Sofia Leinenen. Cameron Fraser MacDonald. <laughs> winner of the Calumet UK Photographic Award, Robert Stuart Main. <laughs> Laura Prieto. <laughs> Kirsten Brown. 
Oliver Ford. Ailsa Kerr. Egle Kiesliot. Megan Bridget Maher McChrystal. Callum James Rafferty. Hannah Nicola Burt. Haley Rachel Byers. Agata Kinga Kozlowska. Sandy Beth McDonald Haig. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Photography, winner of the University Medal, Simone Reed. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Popular Music, Corinne Anderson. Sean Bain. Ross Michael Cole. Joshua Ryan Liddle. Melis Clements Justine Navet. Christopher John Iron. <laughs> Gary Baird. Andrew George Dixon. Peter Ferrugia. Adele Gavin. Alistair Russell Johnston Hutchison. Duncan McIntosh Jones. Fraser John Thomas McClelland. Georgia Rose Moran. Amy Reader. Gregor Stobie. Craig Stoddart. Liam Duncan Stewart. Scott Cunningham. Katie Walker Kennedy. Dale Chalmers Muir. Michael David Waterworth. For the award of Bachelor of Design with Honours, Product Design, David Ewan Murray Bowen. Robbie Michael Craig. Mima Hay Mudan Fair. Sophie Anna Fox. Hui Yi Fu. Charles Fulbrook. Morgan Rachel Gibson. Erin Kellett. Chiyun Lee. Susanna Masker. Winner of the University Medal, Caitlin oh. Naomi McGonigal. <laughs> Ailey Sarah Munro. <laughs> Ailsa Louise Rule. <laughs> Cameron Munro Scott. <laughs> Cameron Stewart Stephen. Juling Tao. 
Helen Trail. Morgan Alexandra Lang. For the award of Bachelor of Design Product Design, Nanko van der Meulen. <coughs> Juyi Chen. <coughs> Hoi Ling Li. <coughs> For the award of Master of Arts Screenwriting, Gavin Beck. <coughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Television, Winner of the Clements Family Prize for Television Production, Catherine Kearney. <laughs> Ethan Jordan Curry. <laughs> Dylan Foster McClellan Grote. <laughs> Matthew David Bruce jo Jones. Kirsten Louise McGregor. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Colin McRae. <laughs> Stuart McAlinden. <laughs> Ross McLeod. Winner of the University Medal, Rary, Rachel Mary McLaughlin. <laughs> Callum Gordon Menzies. <laughs> David Patterson. <laughs> William Ewan Patterson. <laughs> Jonathan Stacy. David James Allen. Larissa Anna Bodell. Jack Matthew Brockman. Ethan Ellis Alexander Brown. Cameron Felix Chapman. Thomas Michael Clark. <laughs> Chelsea Cochran. <laughs> Liam Allen David Forrest. <laughs> Lewis Gervin. <laughs> Abigail Isabel Horn. Thomas James Manson. <laughs> Rebecca Margie. <laughs> Shannon McCann. <laughs> Rory Mackay. <laughs> Marta Miriam Rod Rodriguez Paz. Nicole Sartain. John Robert Smith. Ryan Stewart. Lee West. Catherine Louise Wilson. Lewis McLeod. For the award of Master of Arts in Advanced Film Practice, Ross Kelly. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of students from the School of Arts and Creative Industries.
do it in the world, I don't know. Anyway, uh, can I ask you all to stand, please? All the graduates, please stand. By the powers vested in me by the University Court and the Academic Board of Edinburgh Napier University, I confer the awards for which you have been presented today. For those eligible for an award but unable to attend today's ceremony, I am pleased to confer the awards in absentia. Many congratulations to you all. Please be seated. We'll now have a short musical interlude. Please enjoy this piece of music brought to you by students of the university. Song of Songs, music by Kenneth Dempster and words by Wilfred Owen from the poem Song of Songs to mark the centenary of the ending of World War I.
Good morning, everybody. Uh, I would like to add my welcome to the Usher Hall today, to that of Manish and David, who welcomed you earlier. And I'd like to thank Kenneth and our students, and a particular call out for Lorna Murray, our soprano, for that wonderful performance. Uh, as you probably know, um, the war poets Wilfred Owen and Siegfried Sassoon met when they were being treated for shell shock at our Craig Lockhart campus, which had been requisitioned in the First World War as a hospital. And I was particularly pleased that uh, our students and our staff could mark the centenary of the end of the First World War with that specially dedicated piece. It's also particularly special while we held it to be uh, sung on our, first, on our graduation days is because they are the highlight of the academic year in Edinburgh Napier. Each ceremony, although I have been to many, many ceremonies, each is particularly special. We've all come together in the hall today as one community, but each of you, for each of you, your journey has been individual and unique. The challenges, the triumphs, the setbacks and successes, they're all part of your own individual story. But whatever your journey to this day, my very warm congratulations to each and every one of you. I want to add my thanks and appreciations to two groups of people for their support of you. First, your families and friends all sitting around here in the hall. As a parent who recently, only two weeks ago, watched my daughter graduate, I hold very dear the memories of graduation day. It's a real occasion of joy and pride, an experience to be treasured and shared. And I know that the support of your friends and families will have been of immeasurable value to many of you during your time here with us. So my warm thanks to all. And second, I want to thank my colleagues, the staff of the university, many of whom are here today. Like me, they take great satisfaction and pride in your success. So what does it mean to be an Edinburgh Napier graduate in 2018? It's perhaps a bit of a cliche to say we're living in a period of rapid change. Global political uncertainty, shifting centers of power, and challenges to many aspects of our ways of living. In trying to understand the implications, seeing through all this turbulence to the truth is a challenge to us all. Advances in technology have exponentially increased the amount of information we now have access to, and the same advances have also increased dramatically opportunities for communication on the plus side but also for concealment, confusion, and conflict. Hence, some of the darker preoccupations of our times. Fake news, the dark web, identity theft. But I believe these are just words from our age for preoccupations of every age and generation. For as long as there has been information, there has been disinformation. Every fact creates the possibility of its denial or an alternative fact, and any idea can be misconstrued. But perhaps what makes the use and misuse of information seem more perilous to us today is global connectivity and the speed of communication. So challenging times for us all as we work to live well and contribute positively to our communities. But in this moment, Take time to reflect on your learning journey and how you achieved your degree. For in learning, you have not just acquired knowledge in your discipline, but a mindset, which I hope has been developed, not taught, that has prepared you well for the future. You have learned to test evidence, authenticate facts, apply logic, and see the spectrum of possibilities when forming your views, and most importantly, shaping your actions. This is your talent and your responsibility as a graduate. And take a moment also to consider the many and wide-ranging opportunities which lie ahead, opportunities which may not even be evident today, perhaps our unknown unknowns. 
Periods of change and uncertainty create opportunities, as do technological advances. Even five years ago, just shortly before I joined this university, I would not have thought that advances in design and demand for electric vehicles would have reached the point today where we can realistically foresee the demise of petrol and diesel, or that artificial intelligence would have become part of our day-to-day -day lives, and we would be talking realistically about being on the cusp of a revolution which, among other possibilities, could transform the way we learn. With open minds and the ability to think critically, I know you will inform and shape our society and our politics, and you will shape them for good. Why? Because I have seen your determination, your curiosity, your resilience, your inventiveness in how you have worked towards today in the achievements that we are celebrating. I think of all our students who displayed their work in last month's degree show. For me, it was more than art. It was work that sought to benefit society in many different ways, from a device to highlight potential injuries in youth rugby, to jewelry that could look stunning and help alleviate stress, anxiety, and even pain. I think of the students who were using their skills to help ex-offenders get back on track with a new app, app and designs for stunning light displays at the Royal Botanic Garden using bioluminescent organisms. The di diverse nature of the work was truly astounding. And I also think of um, and, and am wowed by our many student, students graduating today who have studied for their degrees part-time, studying while working and often with family and caring responsibilities. That is a real demonstration of commitment, motivation, and drive. And so my challenge to you today is this, to use all that you have gained throughout your journey, your university journey, to make a difference to the communities in which you will live and work. You will not be able to fully control or indeed predict the future, but you can control the attitude you bring. Be courageous and perceptive, be thoughtful and respectful. Have confidence in your abilities and be open to opportunities. A university is a dynamic learning community a community of staff and students, all scholarly. And learning in this kind of community is never one way. So as you, our graduates, have benefited from your time here with us, be in no doubt that you have also made this university a better place. For you came here with your unique qualities, your perspectives and ways of working, and we have learned from you. Many of you have come from around the world to study, and the talent and diversity of your experiences that you brought have enriched us all. And as we look to the future here in the university, we will maintain an unwavering commitment to learning in an environment where ideas thrive and new knowledge and advances are made. I see this every day in the research that our staff lead whether it be linking up with partners across the Atlantic to develop real-time music collaboration technology, using 3D printing to turn textile waste into desirable products, or harnessing our design expertise to improve the quality of life for patients on ventilators, just a taster of some of their amazing work. So we will continue to play our part with people around the world reaching across borders to tackle challenges of our time and to prove quality of lives for our communities. Finally, I know I speak for all the staff when I say that we're very proud of you as our graduates. I hope that you feel a strong connection with the university and with the city of Edinburgh. Take pride in our achievements and speak to others of your time with us. And above all, be a part of our future by being connected and valued alumni. So graduates of 2018, my very warm congratulations to each and every one of you. I wish you all the very best and success in your future careers. Thank you.
Now we move to the part of the ceremony where I'm meant to offer some words of hope and wisdom. Well, how wise they are, that's up to you guys. I do hope you take something from them. And just for a moment, try to find something in them that means something to you. I want you to think about just a few things. That if someone ever tells you your dreams are impossible, wish them well. And tell them perhaps theirs are, but not yours. For the reality of it is, none of us know what tomorrow holds. What I can tell you for sure is you will never achieve your dreams unless you try. So dreams are important, but more, no more so than the journey in search of them. In terms of physical miles, I grew up not too far from here. In terms of me ever thinking I'd be standing in this stage before you, well, that was a dream I could never have imagined. We never cease to learn so long as our hearts and minds are open. And often our classrooms of tomorrow have no walls. I like to tell the story someone unknown told me. Many years ago, I was walking down the streets, 10th Avenue in New York, and I saw a little piece of scribble on a wall, a little bit of graffiti. As I say, I can't credit the author because they remained uh, anonymous. But I read into it and I tried to take something from it. And this is what it was. Success, dreams, and you are here. I've added the word dreams alongside the word success. And this is what many people hope for, more so today than ever. An effortless, instant, fast track to success. But here's the reality. It made me smile also, but also made me think. If the scribble on the left was a reality, I think it would disappoint most of you. Not immediately, but eventually. And let me tell you why. Even though that's hard to believe, think about it. This little bundle of chaos on the right, the confusing bit, well, that's where the magic happens. That's the part of the journey in front of you that you can't even begin to imagine. But funnily, it's the most important part of the journey. It looks confusing and chaotic, and much of it often is. But don't fear it and never underestimate its value. It's important because it's where you'll find your wildest dreams. The ones today that you can't imagine, and take my word, are even better than the ones you can. Try to remember this when all seems lost and from time to time it will. We all have sleepless nights. We are all anxious. We all worry. It's normal. But never stop trying. It will unravel itself one day. I am sure of that. I'm also sure you now want to go and congratulate one another. Take a few selfies, have a few drinks, and for me to keep this speech as short as possible. But please take one extra little moment today, just one moment, and think of all the people in this world whose dreams would be to sit in the very seats you're sitting in today. For many millions, their dream is education. Enjoy this precious moment. Today is about you, but tomorrow even more so. For this is the start of a relatively short journey. So don't waste your time worrying, as Lorraine said, or being fearful of failure. Only fear not trying. Failure can often be the greatest success. It's the thing it can drive you. It's the thing you can learn from. And never stop dreaming. I hope, like me one day, you'll experience your wildest dreams. For I stand here humbled, and proud before each and every one of you to testament to their existence. Share your moments and encourage others to dream. Who knows, they may even become part of your dreams. My hopes are not for you to change the world. The world will take care of itself. My hopes are that you'll support it, enrich it, and make it a better place. Experience will feed you like little else you'll encounter. So share your experiences and your wisdom with others. Enjoy this special day. And to each and every single one of you, 
Congratulations and well done. I now declare this ceremony closed, so please be upstanding for the academic procession. Thank you.